Ten more seconds. All right, arms right there. Go 30 seconds. So we're gonna do five sets of squats. It's gonna be 15. Five sets of 15. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Take a break. Okay, round two, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Take a break, take off your legs. Okay, ready? Round three. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, round four. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, and five. Hey, last one, last one. Ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, Two, three, four, and five. All right. So now we're going to go and do our push ups. Again, five sets. Every set, a uh, set of 10. Okay. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. I shake off your arms. Four more rounds to go. All right, ready? And go. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. Two down. Three to go. Three. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. Three down. Two to go. Wait. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good, very good. Four down, one to go. Ready? And go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and fifty. Time to do our sit ups. Okay, so what I want to do is from this position, bend your leg. So when you lay down, straight your leg. Well, that's it. Okay, so we're gonna do three sets of 20. Ready? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. One down. Two to go. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Two down, one more. Ready, last one. And go, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. All right. Last one, hip scapes. For one minute. Ready? And go. Very nice, very nice. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Now you guys can go get some water. Well, let's see. Well, 
let's go to the our class today. We're gonna do a couple of positions and then the first one, I really like this position right here. It's a little similar to the to Monday's position, all right? So here, this is what happened. From Monday, I was getting the arm right here, remember? I get the arm right there, I get my elbow, his back is off the mat. I'm pushing the leg to do my spinning, spinning armbar. So sometimes, so what's gonna happen here, of course, of course, when he sees that, that I'm getting this position right here, so what he wants to do, he wants to block my hips. If he doesn't let me move my hips, I'm never gonna move to the other side. Even if I throw my leg right here, if he blocks, his hand is on my hip, I'm not able to spin. I can, I can do the knee on stomach, I can do, uh, I can try to mount, but that spinning armbar is not gonna happen. All right, so my, my position today is one, right here, okay? From Monday, elbow off the mat. From today, elbow on the mat, all right? So with this hand right here, I see that the guy is not gonna let me spin, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna sprawl on top of his hand, one, and I'm gonna move right here. I'm turning my back on him right here. That's my position right here. So I'm gonna go, I still have my grip. His elbow is, is trapped right here. He cannot move. Of course, if I let go, he's gonna move that arm out. But from this position, because I have a really nice control here, and this hand is, I get a grip right here, if he tries to move, that's not gonna happen. Or if he tries to move, his elbow is gonna get stuck right here. All right, so he's gonna try to move, his elbow is gonna get stuck, and then look what happened. Free hand, control the wrist. The hand that was on the collar, control my wrist. And then I can get the submission with his arm straight right here. All right, so first, that's the first one. So the arm is on there over my shoulder. So look, if my hand is right here. I'm gonna keep this elbow on the mat. All my weight is over this elbow right here. I'm gonna move bottom leg forward, top leg back right here. Legs open. I'm not leaving my leg right here because I don't want him to get on top. So look, good base right there. So right now, he's gonna try to move. The hand is gonna be free. I'm gonna catch and do the submission. That's the first one. One more time. The arm is already on the right position. I'm gonna catch. Once I catch, hand is on the collar right here. I can use my elbow to push his head. I'm gonna sprawl, I'm gonna go right here. Boom. Open, legs open, control that arm. This is, if I loosen up a little bit, I'm gonna give him, so oh, I can't skate, he's gonna think that. I saw, see, something that I don't want to do is, if I feel like he has a grip, I'm gonna try to break that. No, I'm gonna wait for him to see if he's gonna escape. If he's gonna, he, if he tries to escape, and then the hand comes right here, and I can see the hand, this is when I get it. One, switch, catch. If the hand is right there, I'm not gonna try to break the grip, all right? Only if the hand is available. Hand is available, grab the wrist, and go get the submission. Let's go, guys, get a... Well, for two minutes. Let's try to do that. Hey, Eduardo. Yes. How are you guaranteeing that you are like keeping the arm trapped once you start to move to the side? 
like move uh, to sprawl over them? Ah, uh, well, so look at that. See, the hand is on your collar, and then you get your elbow tight. All right, so let's see. See here, this hand right there, this is not loose. Make sure you get a good grip right here, and you get, see, if he tries to move his arm, he can't. If that's loose, look, that cannot happen. See, right here, just check. If the person can move the arm, not good. A little tighter. All right, elbow on the mat, spin around, and go right there. If he tries to move the arm right now, look, he can't, but he's gonna try. When he tries to do it, this is when I catch. All right? Switch top to bottom, guys. Switch top to bottom. Okay, thank you. Okay, the nice thing about jiu-jitsu is when you start to see all right, so look, I'm, I'm, I, I'm going to start with the Monday's technique, all right? I have that, I have the elbow, and then the guy blocks. And then I'm able to switch to this technique. So I put my elbow down and switch to the, the, to the other one. Uh, the difference between one and the other one is when I'm trying, when the person has a, the back off the mat and it blocks the hip, the person is strong. Once. The person here, and I'm on my side trying to block really strong right here. I put my back on the mat and I try to block. You see, this is not that strong. So usually the person on top is going to go and move around. So the, something that you guys all have to know is when to switch from one technique to another one. All right, Vincent? Ten seconds, ten seconds. All right. Time. So now let's see here. So sometimes I'm just going to keep trying to attack that arm. All right, so, but sometimes he's not gonna make that mistake. All right, so the technique right here is the same. So I get one, get a grip, elbow is on the mat, I'm gonna go. You see how hard it is for him to stop my hips? Boom, I go and I get the position. Right here. So sometimes I have the position right here, and then I feel like, so he's already defending. He knows that here, if I try to break this grip here, that's not going to happen. All right? And I cannot be stuck here waiting for him to escape for me to be able to, to do that submission. Just remember that 20 seconds right here, the ref is going to say, luch, and then I have to move. All right? So what I want to do here is with the free arm, I'm gonna control the knee, all right? So now, what I need to do, the bottom leg is the leg that is gonna, that I have to get over his head, all right? So to be able to do that, I need to get my hips off the mat, all right? To be able to get my hips off the mat, I need to put all my weight here on his stomach. So one, good grip here on the pants, two, I'm going to bring my feet close to him, and then I'm going to go here, look. All my weight is over him. A lot of pressure on his chest. Once I feel like I have space to move that leg, this is what I'm, I'm going to do, look. His leg is going to come here on his side. The other leg is going to go over, all right? I'm trying to do that without putting too much weight on my son right here. But look, man, six weeks of quarantine here, I'm heavy. <laughs> look, one, push, go like that, step over, bring my knee, and get the submission. All right? Of course, there's not a lot of space to do that. That is not a lot of space. But you know, you punish the person with your with that shoulder pressure, 
all right? You go kind of diagonal right here till one leg goes over the head and the other leg goes right here by his side. So again, I get the position right here, one. Move to this side, two. Legs open, wait for a second. See if he's gonna do something with that arm. Oh, he's not doing anything here. Control the legs, all right? And then I'm gonna go. So diagonal right here, all right? So go, I'm gonna, see, to be able to do that, I need to bring my feet close to him. So I'm starting to push off the mat right here. And then remember, bottom leg goes over. So I'm gonna go right here, bottom leg goes over. Up. I already have a grip on his pants and I get the submission. Let's try to do that, guys. I know. A little complicated. Let's go. Can you show that one more time, please? Uh, but sure. angle it, angle it so that we can see the head. Okay. How the leg goes over the head. Okay. Let's right. see here. Uh, I'm gonna go his way. Uh, Arm, one. Over here. Got a grip here on his legs. So remember that bottom leg goes over the head. So I'm gonna go one. Look at that. I'm gonna walk, walk. Leg over. Bring this up and get it. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. Let's try. Nice. All right, so just to let you guys know, this technique is nice, but sometimes you have to be, be careful, all right? So we have to be aware about some things that can happen with this position, like this. So let's see, Lucas is gonna get the position right here. All right, so look, so the arm is on the right position. He's gonna go, get a grip with the left hand. Now he's gonna go and he's gonna move right there. And that's the, and that's the position right here, all right? So remember, if my arm goes right here and he catches the arm, he's gonna make me tap. Two arms against one arm. But if I go right here, look, and place my hand right there, look what? He's going into. I go right here, I got my biceps. And I turn this because the arm's choke. So you have to be careful. See, if the arm is right here, that is nothing on the neck. But if I move my arm right here, and he doesn't catch, and then I go right there. Look, one, two, I'm gonna walk towards his head, and then he's gonna tap. So be careful when you do that. If the person is trying to move the head, you have to catch and get that straight arm bar, all right? If you let the person control right here, the person is gonna get that darts choke, all right? The, the second. The second technique from today, for today, is that paper cutter, all right? And the way, I want to start, it's right here. Look, I'm here between his head and his arm already, okay? My partner, he's gonna be here with his arm right there. And what I'm doing here, is, look, is I'm gonna go with my arm around, one. So his hand, back of my hand, is gonna be on the mat. So my hand is gonna be facing up, one, and then I'm gonna get a grip here on his collar. So let, let me show you. So look, my hand comes right here, one, and then I go here, two. That's my hand. See, this arm is trapped. Every time that I step back with my left leg, he can move his arm. I need to, once I control this arm, I need to have the, my right leg forward. So, his arm is trapped, all right? So right now, look what I'm gonna do. Instead to try to get a grip right here, I'm gonna go with my forearm, forearm on his neck. Once I touch the neck, 
I get a grip, all right? Once I get the grip, if I try to do the submission, my elbow is going against my leg. So that's why I have to sprawl my left leg back, bring my elbow on the mat, and I get that toe, all right? So the setup here, easy already, because I'm on the right position. He's giving his arm to me. So look, I'm going to circle. I'm going to control the collar right here, right on the back of his neck. All right. That's my control. Trap that arm. Place my forearm, my wrist on his neck. One. And then get a grip. This grip is thumped in. Once I get this grip, try not to bend your wrist. Try to keep your wrist straight, sprawl the leg, and get the submission. Right? Last time, right here, arm goes around, get a grip, forearm on the neck, get my second grip, sprawl, and pressure. So guys, that's the paper cutter. Let's try to do that. Eduardo. Yep. I have a question. Yeah, of course. So how do you normally get into that entry? Because when I do that particular technique, uh -huh. it just takes forever to get underneath. Two, you take. It, it just takes a long time. So. To, to, to do that because yeah. you cannot get the arm or? Yes, because I can't get to the arm. Okay, all right. So let, let, let me, I'm gonna explain. Let them switch, and then okay. after they, they switch, yep. top to bottom, I will explain to you, okay? Yep. Huh? It's kind of like a old judo technique. Is this, is that right? I think so. That's how, that's why I learned it, so. Okay. You know who, who is really good on this one? No. Fabio Gurgel. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Really, really good on that one. Okay. Really good. We get everybody, everybody. Interesting. I had a chance to be on bottom <laughs> with him. So it, was, it wasn't pleasant then. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's see. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, of course, of course. See, here, that's not going to happen when when are you gonna start training and the person on bottom is gonna be here with their arm waiting for you to go and circle that arm? That's never gonna happen. This is just like to make it easier for you guys to understand where the arm goes. So actually what happens is the guy has his hand right here, all right? So I know, I know that every time that I apply pressure right here on his hand is uncomfortable, all right? Okay, so I get my position and then I, it doesn't matter if the arm is right here, if the arm is right there, okay, he can get a, his grip right here. So what I'm gonna do here is, one, I'm gonna switch right here. So I'm not gonna control the head anymore, one. If you wanna make sure that you have a good control, you can even go and grab the belt right here. Two, I'm gonna face his left. So when I'm facing his leg, so look, what I'm doing here is I'm putting a lot of pressure on his elbow with my hips. Look at his arm. If the hand is stuck right here, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna push that arm. So look, this is what I want. See, that's the position that we were training. All right, the arm is here, available for me to get it. See, if you pay attention, that's the same position here. But instead of me on, on my knees, I'm right here. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to free that arm, right? So again, I have this. I'm gonna go, one, get a grip. You can grab the belt. Two, I'm gonna face his legs right here. I want my hips on the mat. Look, he's already, the arm is already on the position. Sometimes 
the person on bottom is still gonna get a grip right here. But that is easy that I can just go and push that elbow right here. Look, bottom leg comes under that arm, and then this arm goes under his arm. Look, I'm gonna go one, go back to my position. So now, now I have, I have the arm right here. So again, I get one, like this. Right. Go right here. The hand is right there. I don't want to go. Push that elbow. Free that arm. Bottom leg. Glue. See that his arm is on top. Here, I'm not going to be able to get. So pull the arm. Get this one. So now, as I move my leg out, my arm comes in. Arm is going to the right position right here. Slide my knee forward. Forearm on his neck. Scroll the leg. Get the submission. That makes sense, Lawrence? Yep, that was great technical details. All right, so one more minute, guys. One more minute. Try to do this setup. You start from side control. Let's go, let's go. Eduardo, can you do the setup one more time, please? Who's talking to me? Okay. Brandon. Okay, Brandon. All right. Hey. So look, his arm right here. So what I want to do is with my hips, I'm going to put pressure right here and push his arm. All right? So I'm like this. I'm going to push one. I'm going to face his legs two. I'm gonna push, three, all right? If this, his triceps is on the mat, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna slide my leg here, because I need this space. I cannot try to go and get the arm right here. I have to do this. As I, see, I'm gonna go one, and catch the arm, catch the, the lapel. And then I finish, okay? Let's go. All right, switch top to bottom. Great. All right, look, something that I like to do is, I like to write down the techniques. I really like to do that. All right, so when I learn a new technique, one way for me to memorize that technique is to uh, For some reason, if I write, things down, sticks on my head. All right, so make sure you do your journal. All right, all right. May 6, 2020, coronavirus technique, attack from side control, whatever, put as many details as you can. All right, and then when you're able to do, when you're able to spar, just make sure you go back, it's okay. I'm gonna try to do this, I'm gonna try to do that. So this is really important, really important. It's a lot of people. So. So some people, they like to watch. So I watch something and then, ah, some, that's, all, that's okay. To me, writing down, right? I can watch something and then I come here, say, oh my God, how is the position? But if I write down and I'm not gonna, I know that I'm not gonna forget, all right? So just, this is just like, this is the way it works uh, for me. Maybe that will work for you too. And then it's always great to have a journal with the technique. So great, you have to look at it. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you, Good Good Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Eduardo. Thanks, Eduardo. Thanks, Eduardo. Thanks, Eduardo. Thanks, Eduardo. Thanks, Eduardo.